851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. As mentioned a month or two ago when news was released on the Boeing NMA program dubbed to be the 797, I said that between now and 2020, when the aircraft is said to be launching, we'd learn new things on the aircraft more frequently than ever before. Today we have our first new development which involves the engine selection for the Boeing NMA. In the middle of last year, Boeing told engine manufacturers that they had very little time to submit their application to power this NMA. Essentially, what Boeing wanted was to understand how various manufacturers like Rolls-Royce, General Electric and more would power their aircraft and what sort of efficiency they could offer. In recent days, we've learned that leading engine manufacturer Rolls-Royce has pulled out of the race to power Boeing's NMA, dubbed to be the 797. Rolls-Royce has in the past year come under heavy scrutiny from airlines and more due to their problems with the Trent 1000, which has in turn impacted numerous airlines, with some airlines seeing groundings of their 787s, which in turn has impacted them more severely than others. Rolls-Royce said that they would not be powering the Boeing NMA due to them being unable to commit to a power plant that would sufficiently help the NMA. In addition, they said that they would be unable to commit to the required timetable to produce the said engines. Rolls-Royce, though, were quick to praise the Boeing NMA and how they believe it'll slide right into Boeing's family of aircraft once launched and released to airlines in 2025. Rolls-Royce is currently snowed under, trying to sort through the delays of getting fixes for its Package B and Package C Trent 1000 engines on the Boeing 787. Work to certify the part took more time than Rolls-Royce would have liked and is now only rolling out. However, this doesn't mean airlines still aren't facing issues. On a recent journey airside to Heathrow, it became evident that Virgin Atlantic and British Airways, two 787 operators, were still both struggling with groundings as 787s were parked up, looking like more scrap jets than active ones. The decision by Rolls-Royce comes as reports suggest that well over 1,000 people are now working on the 797's design and perfecting it. Other sources who have reached out to me suggest that wing components and more are already complete, and it's all about getting the decision to launch the 797 to pass the board of directors at Boeing. A decision on this is expected sometime this year, with March being tipped as a possible time. With that being said though, last month's report suggested that even if the aircraft is given the go-ahead, a launch wouldn't come until 2020. That's really an update on the 797 engine and a little bit at the end on the aircraft itself. What are your thoughts on the news? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching this video of mine and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly